Hey everybody, it's like uh, 5.50 right now, and the plan was to take off at 6.30 to go see all the geysers. Right now, I think just me and AJ are up. I'm ready to go, and I think, yeah, okay, I can see Katie moving around right now out there. But we'll see if we actually take off at 6.30, and... It is cold and it started raining last night. It is still raining. So I'm not sure how this day is going to go, but it should be fun nonetheless. So, hey everybody, I'm Judah and Katie's here next to me. We are still at Yellowstone. This is day three, technically four. We left you on a bit of a cliffhanger in the last video where I told you we were supposed to get up and do a day of geysers, but to the more cultured people, we like to call them earth pooters. We got up at 5.30. I was sitting in the car eating, trying to stay warm. Around six, I saw Katie moving around. We were sitting there asking what's up with the boys. I ran over there to check on them. And because it was raining and cold, they pooped out on us. And they were like, yeah, just go without us. And since Katie and I are champs, we dropped the dead weight and we went ourselves. And we first stopped at Norris uh, Geyser Basin, which in the other video, we talked about how we foolishly pulled in and decided that was a big mistake. So we went back and we were probably two of maybe six people there. Yeah. This is just so cool. I wish I could share this with everybody that I love. This is just amazing. We had the whole place to ourselves, basically. It was amazing awesome. we were just owning the place running around the boardwalk it was so beautiful seeing these geysers and these uh i don't know some of them weren't geysers they're just like steam ports and some of them were hot springs or something yeah they're definitely hot springs or like very like turquoisey blue cool springs that are really beautiful and they're kind of bubbling up and there's also a lot of i feel like at all of these spots there are like different mineral deposits and like bacteria that make things look red or orange mm -hmm. or blue green like interesting colors that you don't typically see i guess yeah according to the yellowstone map norris is one of the hottest and most dynamic geyser basins so there you have it, it sounds the like they're describing us <laughs> It's true. You could replace that photo with us and you get about the same thing. <laughs> From there, uh, we stopped at Artist's, Artist's Point? Artist's Paint, Paint, Paint Pot. Pot. Yes. Paint Pots. She I had thought that. that was going to be a lot cooler because I saw it on a list of yeah. things. Yeah, she put it on our itinerary. It wasn't that exciting. It was kind of more of the same, I feel like, at some yeah, level. Yeah, but it wasn't. It was cool, it was. though. That's there was where, uh, mud, the mud, yes, boiling mud thing. Yes, that's the first thing. place we saw the... And that was the that was the closest The mud. There. I really missed out on taking, there was this great photo opportunity of all this tall grass that had dew dripping off of it and the sun was busting through and you saw the steam in the back. And when I saw it, I was like, that's true. I was like, that would be a great photo. <laughs> and I didn't stop and take it. I just walked by it. Like I, I felt pressure because of people were behind me or something like that. I don't know. Uh, we went to, oh, as we were driving, Cars were stopped, and obviously in Yellowstone, if cars are stopped, there's something going on. They see something. Yeah. So Katie stops behind, and we're... And I'm like, bear! Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys, we see bears. Two bears! We see bears. Holy shit. Those are grizzlers. I don't know if you guys can see them. There they are. They're walking in the woods. So in, in the woods was uh, a mama bear and her baby bear and I, I filmed it but I checked the video and I cannot see the bear in the video at all but hopefully when I get home maybe I can zoom in do some uh yeah but so we're like stopped and he's taking a video and then all of a sudden a big ass truck comes shooting around like, oh, yeah. like around the right and there's not a lot of room over there like just enough room for him to be there and almost 
hit us. Oh, it was he, very stupid. He was so impatient. And it wasn't like he was on the shoulder. He was freaking half of his truck was yeah, in the he ditch. He was like, I'm a big truck. I can do anything I want. He, he couldn't handle the fact that people were enjoying themselves and he needed to be somewhere. It was very frustrating. So we stopped. Uh, we were driving. This was not on our list. We were just taking the loop, which this would be, we, we finally finished the grand loop because we did the bottom portion, so we would have completed the grand loop. But we were just driving and seeing things off to the side and being like, does that sound good? And we'd stop. And this was a nice boardwalk that went around things. And of course, Katie and I chose, we were the only two people that chose to go the opposite direction of all the crowd. But it was simply just to show our dominance and superiority over everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and we looked down on everyone as we pushed through the crowds the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. It was The hottest and the, what was it? We were being we, the hottest yes. and most dynamic. <laughs> we were definitely <laughs> pushing through the crowds on that one. It started raining a little bit, but I thought there was some. There's a there's a mule deer just walk around over here. I, so given falls, and again falls are kind of just falls, but I mean we walked, we stopped. It was pretty. We took photos. We headed. Uh, we saw a fire hole. Canyon Drive, so Katie took us through that. It was a one-way drive. There was a little pull-off. Again, we stopped and checked out the falls. That's pretty cool. The falls are nice. Yeah. I like seeing them. They're, they're very pretty. I like the sounds. Mm -hmm. uh, the plan was then to go to Midway. Then we stopped at Black Sand Geyser Basin. Again, this all kind of starts blending together but it's it's all beautiful and it's all worth stopping mm -hmm. at even bring which out. one had the steamboat one at norris there was a a geyser called steamboat yeah <laughs> that uh every once in a while you never know when could be 15 years could be whatever shoots the highest oh that's right of any of the geysers that's right i can't remember how high but very impressive yes uh after black sand geyser basin we headed to go see Old Faithful. We went to the 1227 showing of Old Faithful. She was on time. A little bit early, in fact. Well, we walked around like the compound. Yeah, we went and we... And got we, some snacks. We did. I drank a beer while we were waiting for She drank her. an Old Faithful beer. For or was it? No, well, it wasn't. Was That's our claim. But we went to the Old Faithful Inn. That, that was really cool. is really cool. I'm generally, when people put on like their list of things to do, go check out the inn. I, I'm usually like, that's lame, but it was beautiful. Yeah, it was like, it had like a big, we couldn't go up there, but you could see like a big walkout up on the top. Yeah. And the chimney, I don't know exactly how it worked, but it had like logs around the chimney. It just looked really cool. It was made of huge logs all it throughout. Was. It was very neat. It was very nice. Now I gotta tell you a story. Now, when most people say the American dream, they're thinking like lots of money, house, kids, all that kind of a thing. What, isn't that what you take when somebody says the American dream? Yeah, like, sure. But for me, my idea of what the American dream was, being raised on some of these Disney cartoons and these, uh, man, who did the... Uh, Hanna-Barbera. Oh. Disney and Hanna-Barbera. They would do these kind of cartoons of like Donald being at Yellowstone or Goofy being at Yellowstone or doing this Route 66 type of thing. Yeah, and for me, my American dream was... <gasps> She's right over there. There she is. Do you see her? See, we're not lying. We are at Yellowstone. <laughs> So this was, for me, my idea of the American dream was going and doing these iconic family trips, but we were poor and we never, and I've mentioned this before, we, we never did family trips. And uh, as my friend, Brandon Greta, who actually loaned me that orange tent behind Katie, give it a duck real quick. Yeah, as Brandon and I like to say, we were powdered milk poor. <laughs> <laughs> It's not supposed to be funny. It's the truth. No, no, I'm familiar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some people are like, what does that mean? It means you couldn't afford regular milk. You got powdered milk. So coming here and going to see Old Faithful, this is really fulfilling, like this, this deep down desire from childhood to be able to participate in these things. 
I'm glad Katie and my two cousins, AJ and Cass, have been able to do this with me. But, you know, there's a, I wish I could have done it with my dad. Mm. But on that note, I once read or heard some internet person or some article talking about Old Faithful, and they made this comment that said, well, Old Faithful really isn't the best geyser at Yellowstone. <laughs> and when I heard that, it pissed me off so much. I felt like personally attacked ah, by ooh, this person. This is very personal for you. <laughs> it, was, it was like so funny. And I was like, as we were here, I was thinking, dude, why are you so pissed off about this? Because now I've seen the other geysers and I'm like, okay, I guess I kind of get what this guy means. But it was, you know, I had this this deep like desire for this family vacation, this American dream. And when this person <laughs> said Old Faithful wasn't the best geyser, I was like, F you, burn in hell. It was <laughs> very emotional for me. Yeah. So anyway. Wow. Have you gotten over it? Yeah, I mean. It I've, doesn't sound like it. No, maybe <laughs> maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> Thank uh, you for sharing your emotional yes. self with us. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Um, Katie did try to start a wave. So, yeah, so you're sitting, like, there's benches kind yeah. of, like, around, like, I don't know if it's a half moon or what, yeah. half, around this big space where the old faithful is. Um, and Judah was like, let's start a wave. And I was like, okay, because that's my personality. And then Judah was like, ha, 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 ha. He didn't do I, I anything. I just sat there, yeah. So. Um, and actually, when I say I started a wave, I mean, I she waved. She was the wave. She And um, she no was one wave. else waved. AJ thinks that there may have been close to 2,000 people around this. Oh, oh you don't think so? I don't I know. Think, I think 15, maybe 1,200, 1,500. I, I think, think that so. there was a lot of people there. I'd say uh, a different number. Give me a number. Like maybe you and in the hundreds, the but not oh, no. over 1,000. Oh, wait. Oh, there's definitely over 1,000 people. None, none of this yeah. 100. None of this 100 garbage. Nah. I never get to have any fun. Then we headed to West Thumb Geyser Basin. Now this is right next to the Yellowstone Lake. This was cool. This this place was cool. You know, it was raining a little bit, like a little bit well, on the way there. It was kind of like a storm, right? Yes. It was raining on our way there, and we saw some lightning. Mm. We heard some thunder, some big ass clouds like hanging over a cool blue, like sapphire blue pool, stuff like it that. It was very cool. Yeah, the clouds are red over the lake. My favorite part of it was. The lake and then some of these these i don't know if you call them geysers are just like bubbling cauldrons that are poking up out of the cold water but inside these little cauldrons that's bubbling up outside in the lake and i thought that was really cool yeah, yeah i don't cool. know it, i just thought that was amazing it's very cool then we jumped back on the road we did the gulf point drive katie refused to stop for me to see the yellowstone natural that's bridge that's a lie i didn't see it and then i offered to turn around I, that's not how i remember it I said, hey, Katie, turn right here. Right here, Katie. Katie, turn right here. And what That's I remember true. is she put her foot on the gas. And, and I, I also bitch slapped him. <laughs> See? Uh, as, now the truth comes out. <laughs> as I was I, I, but that him. only happened after I said, hey, Katie, there's a turnaround here. I, I know you accidentally passed it. There's a turnaround. We could go back. Then that's when I got the bloody lip. And so we kept going on. Uh, went back to the campground took our traditional lap well guys i'm sad to say my trail mix has seen better days you see that it melted and it's just become one bit like uh not a mix it's like it's a, a trail log now or a, a trail stone a trail ball uh we we somewhat talked about this but let me let me show you really fast i'll be right back So this right here, this bone I found in my tent the first night we were here at uh, Canyon Campground. And when I saw that, I was like, is that the bone from Glacier? And it sure was. AJ and Cass stopped over here. And uh, it was kind of a funny prank because... Well, I was like... I bet that was just in his bag. I bet yeah, he she didn't did. plan it. Katie called it. He was it. still in his bag. He didn't. This was the first time since last year at Glacier that he found this in his bag. So it was just kind of a funny thing. And so he put it in my tent. So I'm going to have to find some way to get it back 
in his bags at some point. But early to bed is what we did. I think we all hit the tents at like eight. Yep. Had another horrible, horrible cold night. It and was very cold, yeah. I slept better a little bit. Kitty and I made plans, but we changed them. But you're gonna have to wait till the next video to find out how that went. Thanks for watching. I'm Judah. It's Katie. See ya.